Furniture maker Flex Steel is closing for good in Starkville. For company executives announcing today they are shuttering the Starkville plant along with their newest facility in Dubuque, Iowa in September. In a call to investors, the Iowa-based Flex Steel reports a financial loss of more than $5 million since January. That's partially due to a drop in demand. Prior to the coronavirus pandemic, the industrial road plant employed around 170 people. Right now, 45 workers are handling the backlog of orders. Those workers are going to be looking for new jobs very soon in a very uncertain market. Our Quentin Smith catches up with some of them to get their reaction. When workers at Flex Steel received a phone call from the HR department, they thought it was a call telling them they could come back to work. Instead, they were notified that the facility is shutting down for good, leaving many people without a job and not knowing what to do next. As a result of the unprecedented conditions. As Tasha Beckham reads a disheartening letter. The company has made a painful decision to permanently close its manufacturing facilities located in Starkville, Mississippi. She can't fathom being told she's losing her job. I hate to say I was dependent on it, but when you, that's your social income, you know, that's what I was waiting, you know, of course, to go back to work because there's I don't have a second job. The company closed temporarily in late March, but Beckham says she never thought things would become permanent. This is something we've never experienced before. This is different. And to have family and friends that have actually died from the virus and now I'm not having a job, you know, this it's a lot all at one time. It hurt. I don't know how I'm going to take care of my family after, you know, this little unemployment stop. You know what I mean? It's hard. It's hard. It's real hard. For Charlie Douglas, he's yet to receive a phone call about the closing. He heard of the news through a coworker. He says he's not only disappointed to lose his job, but also the way Flex still is handling this entire situation. Hey, I still got, like, vacation hours. I want to know what I need to do to get those. You know, I got 401k. I need to know, you know what I'm saying? I need a call. Douglas has worked at Flex Steel for more than a decade and says his worst fear is not being able to find another job due to the global pandemic. I made bills for myself because I thought we were going to be a company that was going to last. Flex Steel? I thought Flex Steel was going to be here when my son got 44, you know, turned 44. But it. it it was a surprise, man. Both Beckham and Douglas say they don't know what's next, but in the meantime, they're going to lean on their faith to get them through these uncertain times. I may take this time to go back to school. I know a lot of people are not hiring right now, so I'm not sure about work. And I don't qualify for regular unemployment, so, you know, just making do with what I have. The company says it knows this is devastating news. That's why they're going to help workers receive financial benefits through the CARES Act to help get them through this tough time. Reporting in Starkville, Quentin Smith, WCBI News.